Hey guys, what's up there? It's Chris Blade Johnson and today I'm going to teach you the main riff from a song called Heart of the Lion, originally written by Rob Helford from Judas Priest. But they never released the track, so it always remained as a demo tape. Anyway, Racer X had the chance to cover Heart of the Lion and put it on their great record called Second Heat in 1987. In 2004, Rob Helford actually released the song Heart of the Lion with his own band, Halford. One year later, in 2005, Judas Priest released the Metology Box, where they included the old demo tape from the 80s. So, pretty cool origin story, right? Pretty sure you are looking forward to get the riff explained, so I'm gonna show it to you, and let's gonna get started. Alright guys, let's start with the lesson. We're basically in E-flat tuning, so... <coughs> tuning guitar, half step down. Okay, so the first part of the riff is pretty simple, it's really easy. It's in B minor and it looks like that. Pretty simple. You start with the B power chord, play 2nd fret of the A string, 4-4 four, four on the D and G string. Play it twice a time. Then you play 2nd fret on the low E string, open A and again twice a time the B power chord. So. So far we got this. Pretty simple. Okay, the next thing looks like that. Well, that's quite a nasty pinch harmonic, I got to admit. Okay, the next part is quite uh, simple too. We basically uh, play around an open G power chord, an open D power chord. That's the first thing that comes, but you don't play an open G power chord. You start with the third fret on the low E string, okay, and then you take your fourth finger on the third fret of the B string and play this, okay. So and resolve that in an open D power chord with the A in the bass. So A open A open D and uh, second fret on the G string and third fret on the B string. Okay, so very slowly. Pretty simple. So the next part that comes looks like this. Okay, um, you again start with third fret on low E string. Then you play open A power chord. And then you do the A sus4, this Rolling Stones kind of thing, so... Okay, so what I play here is, uh, with my index finger, I play uh, the second fret on the D, G and B string. Then take my fourth finger and put it on the fourth fret of the D string. And my middle finger is on the third fret on the B string. So, you have this kind of sound. Pretty simple, okay? I'm pretty sure you hear that, like, you know... Alright, uh, and then you finish that with a 2nd fret on the D string, on the G string, uh, with a pinch harmonic, and this is quite a nasty one. So you need quite distortion to make this sound well. Anyway, then you play the exact same thing as in the beginning. So we have this before. And then to finish the riff, you play the following. Okay, so you start with the open low E string and two free and low E string. Then you play open D and put your index finger on the second fret of the G string. Okay, so so while while I'm laying my middle finger on the third fret on the low E string, I'm taking my index finger down here to this uh, second fret of the G string to already be in the right position. The next thing is. Uh, open D and still 2nd fret on the G string and 3rd fret of the B string. 
and A power chord. Yeah, that's basically the whole riff. There's only one little difference in the second part because they start to play again and on this part here they just don't play a pinch harmonic, they just play an A power chord. So it looks like this. So I'm starting from the point where they repeat the riff. There's one little extra part I want to talk about. So when you play the second part of that, I'm not sure if they play an open D or an open A or both together. It's so hard to actually hear and separate the notes when you listen to the studio record. And I think they play an open D. It might could be that too, that they just play the A and the D together. probably just thanks a lot for watching uh, go practice the riff having a lot of fun hope you all do well uh, and see you next time